G'day guys, welcome to Rumble's Fish Room. So on today's episode, we're looking at an old light. Basically, um, one of my friends had a light that they were using to grow some indoor tomatoes. And um, basically, he reached out to my, um, what do you call it, my Facebook and said, he's got an old hydroponic light that I might be able to modify for my fish tank. And his, the problem was that one bank of the lights didn't work, but he thought I might be able to take the other bank out and make my own light out of it. But it turns out I fixed it. So I can't remember if I've shown this on the channel before or not, but I've actually had it for a little while. Um, so this, this bank of lights didn't work. Um, there was a dodgy looking LED. It looked like it had something on it or something. Anyway, Anyway, I pulled it apart and I just bridged a little bit of wire onto it and now it works if I can plug it in yeah so it's crazy bright like obviously especially the camera doesn't like it so which brings me to my next point so this is a 500 watt light um, there's a bank here the two centre banks are, pure, are all red so I'm going to delete those two banks. We're not going to run those two banks. And then the other four banks, I'm going to run them on variable resistors. Now, um, in short, I don't know whether it's going to work because I don't know how much wattage I can put through these variable resistors. Um, but I guess we're going to find out. We'll just try it and see if it works. Um, these are only $2 each, so I'm not worried if I burn them out. Obviously, I want to run the light for a little while, like around just on the bench. We'll run it for a couple of hours to see if any, if feel these for temperature, see if they get hot or not. Um, I do not condone taking apart electrical equipment, um, and am, I am no pro at taking apart electrical equipment. Um, I did a pre-apprenticeship as an electrician and never followed through with the apprenticeship, so... I do have a little bit of electrical background, but I'm not touching anything. We can turn that off actually. I'm not touching anything on the 240 volt side. Everything I'm working with is 12 volts. And um, whenever anything, whenever you're working on it, it's unplugged completely. And what else? Yeah, don't touch it. It's pretty simple. Um, so anyway, I'm going to put this back together. This just had little clips in it. I think I've just snapped them all, getting it off, but, oh no, they might go back on. Anyway, I'm going to try to put this back together, um, and then I've got my multimeter. I need to figure out which pins I need to use on the variable resistor. I've actually got no idea. I'm sure plenty of you know which ones I need to use, but I'm going to get them, and I'll probably wire them in and get back to you. Alright guys, so this is an epic fail. Um, it only cost me like $14, but it didn't work. Um, I got to do some more research about variable resistors because the one that I went with is too high in, um, resistance. So like it worked at first and I turned it down a little bit and you wound it like three degrees of a turn and and this was dimming like 50 percent and then it smoked up and it, it's actually melted the coil inside of the switch so it's pretty much just on off now um but one thing i've learned is it's definitely going to work so that means that i can find a correct variable resistor to run this and we should be good. In the meantime, I'm going to put this all back together. Um, I'll unplug that box completely. I'll actually unplug all of them except for two. And we'll run, I might run two banks of lights and just have two on the other four banks turned off. And we'll see how the plants grow with that. Um, they, it is a bit heavy in the red, but... Um, I could always do what I've done with this one and like take a couple of reds out and solder, bri bridge the solder. 
Um, I think that's what I'd do. Look at it, it's, you guys can't really tell what colour the lights are. Um, but yeah, it needs less red, I think. Anyway, so I'm going to pull the pull this off and um, hook two back up and then close it all up. Alright guys, so it turns out these aren't a huge loss. I can actually put them on the fans and we can turn the fans down a bit, not that much, because we're only running one bank of light so it doesn't need a, the full cooling and it will make it a bit quieter. Um, I'm not sure what step I last recorded, but things have escalated since. I um, got the two banks working, I sat on the tank, it was very, very red. So I got some tape and we put it over the, some of the red LEDs till I got the colour that I liked and it actually melted the tape. So what I'm doing now is I'm deleting six red LEDs and I've got like six little wire bridges here and I'm going to take the LEDs off and solder them on. Alright, so, so I'll show you a couple quickly. So I've deleted the three LEDs. We've already, I've already done the other side, but I thought I'd film one or two. Um, and then just put this bridge on. Like that. Job done. This is just um, speaker wire. It's actually, it's a pretty thick gauge. It's um, what I use to wire the LEDs in my fish room. And it's it was rated to, I work, I did the math of like the gauging, or well not the math, but like I worked out the gauging and this one isn't going that well for me. So this wire was actually gauged thick enough to support the whole fish room, so it should be enough for this light. Um, so my guess, roughest, this is a 500 watt light. So we're only using um, one third of the light, which is like 160 watts. And then we've actually, we're deleting six LEDs. So I don't know how many watts that is. So we'll say we're drawing about 150 watts total, which means 75 watts per side. So I'm guessing roughly, it's, I've got no idea if I'm right here or not, but I'm guessing like 75 watts is potentially passing through this bridge that I'm making. Um, Oh, I should have soldered the bridge before I took it off, get some solder into it, but keep forgetting. So, I gen the way I've been doing it is getting one side attached, doing the other side, and then going back to the first side just making sure that it's definitely attached um, alright and then so we've got three bridge there these things just clip on I've broke a couple of the clips but not many um, just, they're all good um, I did want to try and just leave them taped for now but like as soon as I taped it, it the heat went through the roof on the LED, so it wasn't an option leaving them taped. Um, these just clip in. Job done. Uh, deleted. I deleted the opposite to that side. Whoops. So it's not not exactly a mirror image. That kind of messes with my head a little bit, but if I just forget about it now, I won't. Uh, I'm a bit annoyed, guys. What? How did I manage that? It was meant to be. Should be 
Those two should have been deleted. Kept that one. All four are red, so it doesn't actually matter, but it would have looked better. Moment of truth, will it turn on? Boom. Oh, that's way better. Um, if I remember, I'll insert a picture here of what it looked like before I deleted the reds. Alright, so it's really hard to see on camera. Um, why was it? It was filming good lighting before. Uh, anyway, the camera's chucking the shits. So, I'm gonna run that. I'm happy with that. Um, the fans are both still working. They don't feel too hot. Let's run with that and we'll see how it goes. Um, hopefully we get some better plant growth. Alright guys, I was just um, packing up and about to have dinner and I realised I didn't film an outro. So, um, I can't actually remember what I last filmed. Did I show you guys the fact that the light's back on? There's less red? I think I already did. Anyway, there's still heaps of red. There's only six red LEDs out of the lot, but it's still, the red seems to be dominating. Anyway, I'm gonna have my dinner, so if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna subscribe for more, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.